Welcome back to the third video of our Angry Bot showcase on Psy for Unity. This time we will take a look at how we can add interactive music to a boss fight. As an example, I have increased the hit points of this enemy mech here, uh, which will be patrolling around this section here at runtime. So let's pretend this is our boss. Now there's four things that I would like the music to communicate. Uh, first one is we want to raise the tension when the player gets near the enemy mech. Second is we want instant battle music as soon as the player is spotted, just like we did in the last video for our enemy spiders. Third thing I would like to integrate is a jump scare effect, um, so very high intensity, um, but only when the player is spotted for the first time and only if the enemy mech is close enough uh, to the player and also if the enemy mech is currently uh, visible on screen. And at last, when the enemy mech is defeated, we want to instantly switch to heroic uh, music. So these are quite a few features. So let's first create an empty game object for them as a parent to keep things um, clearly arranged. Let's call it Psy. And our first task was to raise the uneasiness whenever the player gets near the enemy mech. So let's create a new node and call it that way. So I will call it a race uneasiness when near. And um, again, the trigger script I will be using is the trigger when in range script. This time I don't trigger the battle music, but I trigger my uh, basic mood not safe with uh, theme ID 5. And if you've remembered, we already triggered that as soon as the player entered the building, but we triggered with 50% intensity. So these 50% have to be the minimum intensity level uh, when we're going to raise the tension. The trigger radius will be rather high this time. That way we also make sure that the background music has enough time to adapt to the new intensity level. Um, the second note that I'm going to add is our regular battle music. Um, again, scaled by the distance to the enemy mech. So if you watched the last video, this is exactly what we did with the enemy spiders. Uh, let's call it a battle music uh, while detected. And again, we will trigger our uh, action theme called danger with ID3. We're starting with a medium intensity this time, up to a rather high intensity, but again, we will keep the last uh, 15 or 10% for jump scare effects. And the way that I make sure that our battle music will only play while the enemy mech has detected us, is just like in the last video, I use the trigger condition uh, called skip if component is disabled, and I link it to the attack movement controller of the enemy mech. Now the next musical feature we could integrate uh, could be that jump scare effect that I've mentioned. Like I said, we only want our battle music to play with ultra high intensity when the player is spotted for the very first time. So let's again create a new child node and let's name it like that. Uh, let's call it uh, more drama when spotted. Now there's a couple of ways to achieve that. Uh, the one that I've chosen is by using this trigger behavior here, which will fire one single time uh, when it gets enabled. So all I have to do is to add it to the list of behaviors that will get enabled by the enemy max AI script uh, when it has spotted the player. So back in my trigger script, the first thing I have to do for this to work is to disable my component. I will also um, add the same trigger condition just like in our last uh, battle music note to make sure that this only fires when the enemy mech has detected us. And another trigger condition that we could add in this case is this one called um, skip if not visible, which will uh, suppress the trigger if the enemy mech is currently not in camera view. And for this to work, we have to link the renderer of the enemy mech to our script I will choose this one, um, Mac main body. So currently we are firing with 100%. Um, imagine this was a third person game or first person game 
and although the enemy mech is in camera view and the enemy mech is attacking us, imagine it is far down the hallway. So this 100% uh, um, jump scare effect might be a little too much. So if you watched the last video, you already know that we can synchronize and sum up the intensities of overlapping triggers. And I will use this for a little more micromanagement now. We know that our battle music while detected node is firing with a minimum intensity of around 50%. So if I set my more drama node to um, intensity value of let's say around 30%, we make sure that the ultra high intensity levels are only reached when the um, enemy mech is close enough. I also select this checkbox here and deactivate after firing once. Uh, so we make sure that this extra intensity is only added when spotted for the first time and not if we run away and the player comes back and already knows what's coming. The last musical feature on our list was the instant switch to heroic music when the boss is destroyed. So let's make a new node called um, heroic music when defeated. So this feature is pretty similar to the stop music command from the last video when the last enemy spider had been destroyed. However, this time we will call this script here. It's called Psy one shot trigger. The one shot trigger is also executed by calling its on signal method. So all we need to do is to link it to the on die signal that will be sent out by the health script of the enemy mech, just like we did with the enemy spiders in our last video. The heroic theme we will be switching to has ID 4 and it's also of type action. So therefore I select this checkbox here, forcing Psy to immediately interrupt um, any theme that might be playing in the background at this point of time, uh, ignoring its theme type. And that was the last feature to implement on our list. Uh, before I press play, I'd like to thank you for watching so far. And uh, please bear in mind that we only just scratched the surface of what's possible with Psy. Um, especially if you're a programmer and you use the API directly, there's a ton of other features that we haven't touched yet. Also, if programming is not your thing, but you have more ideas on how we could integrate more trigger scripts or more trigger conditions, please don't hesitate to contact us and we will be happy to extend the list in future releases. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.